Hey, Mr. McLaren here. So I want to show you how I want to adjust this layer of the earth assignment. Um, basically, we're trying to have you guys think about how think you, big you think the crust, the mantle, and the core of the earth are and trying to show that on these slides. So they had linked in some PDF where you were trying to then kind of draw stuff on that. Honestly, I think it's going to be easier if you just use some of these tools. So we're going to be trying to draw the crust, the mantle, and the core, and the relative size that you think they are in like a cross section. So like if you had like the earth and you were like cut into it and look at it, like, you know, when you cut into like an orange and you look at that, so you can see the different layers. So what we can do here is we can do our shapes tools and can do our different um, ovals here. And by default, it's a circle, you know, so you can kind of like adjust that right so we just need a couple of those you can you can go ahead and draw them like this or you could copy and paste i think we just needed three yeah so we got the crust mantle and the core so you may not know what these things are that's okay just know that there's three layers to the earth and we're just trying to get you to think about how big those layers are and what might be in those layers so if you don't know what are in those layers, you could just kind of type out a little bit about what you think are in this. If you have heard of these, let's try and think about how big they are. So I'm thinking I'm going to want to have like one of these circles kind of inside the other circle, and then maybe fill in the color to show the different layers. So maybe we fill this in, maybe do that like dark red. And then this one I'm going to do maybe like orange. And so I've got like one layer in here, I've got another layer there, and then I've got maybe another layer here. And if you've got like one that's in the front that you want to be further back, what you can do is right click on this, and you get these menus, you can change the order. So you can send this backward or all the way to the back. So you can like send this all the way to the back. So this is far behind the other objects. And so you can kind of do that to get these to be Kind of behind each other so if you think the three layers if they look something kind of like that maybe this outer layer maybe i'll do that kind of like a brown color or something maybe like that if you think they're like that big you can do something like that um i'm gonna maybe adjust that a little bit just because i want it to be a little bit bigger I think if I drag all of them at the same time, yeah, it can, I, can, I can adjust all their sizes at once if I click and hold over all of them. So you can kind of move them as a group. And then you can kind of adjust these to make this a little bit smaller. If you think this outer layer should be smaller, you can do something like that. Or if you're like, I think this should be way bigger, this inner really red thing, whatever that is, you can kind of adjust their sizes to make them the relative size that you want. And if you want to get real fancy, we could add in some labels. So we could add in some text boxes and be like, oh, this is the core. And so you're going to maybe have that be labeling this. Um, and then mantle and crust. So I'm just going to throw in one more label and it just show you one more way you can do this. So if you're like, oh, I think this is the crust. Um, but I'm having a hard time writing crust on it. What you can do is you can use our line tool, right? So you can say, hey, I want to draw a line from this label down to here to be like kind of pointing at that. Or you could actually, you know, what we could do is we could actually use the proper arrow and draw from this to that. Um, it's kind of connecting onto it. Yeah, like that. And actually, you know what I would maybe want to do is maybe do a border around this. I might make it look a little bit neater and maybe make that a little bit bigger. Just to kind of make this label just a little bit clearer to be like, hey, this is for the crust right here, you know. So you can add in a couple different labels like that as you'd like. Um, and then at this point in the video, you should just kind of try and do that and pause this video before going on to slide four. So pause right now. And then we'll go to slide four after you've done all that drawing. You've done that drawing, right? Okay, cool. 
So then you go to the next one, and there's this, uh, they give you actual distances here. And so we're trying to think about, okay, well, if this is at actual thicknesses, how would, big would this look? Now you could use some graph paper to do this. Um, you can also like just make a little grid and that might help you get some actual accurate distances on this. But it's the same sort of idea. If you want to even copy all of this over from this previous slide and then adjust, you can do that. So this, this second slide, you now have like the actual numbers. So you're going to be trying to get the actual distances to match them. Um, so you can see like that crust is pretty thin. So this is like way too thick. So I would need to adjust that. So I need to make this much, much, much smaller. Now to actually make that be accurate, I would want to have some sort of graph paper kind of over it. Um, this is just an exercise of estimation. So we're just trying to do our best to draw this out. Don't spend like forever on this because I believe that I show you at the end what it actually looks like. Yeah, I do. So if you, after you've done this, so this is like your first attempt before you've seen any numbers, before you know anything about these things. Now we've given you some actual um, measurements of how thick these things are. And you make that model. And then if you look here on slide six, that, uh, that gives you the actual model so you can see what it actually looks like. And you're going to compare your initial, um, the ones with the actual numbers where you try to estimate the, the drawing, and then the actual drawing. Okay? All right. Cool. I'll see you in class.